Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're on my bed in front of my window. I'm trying to get the best light because it's really dark today, so bear with me. Today I'm filming something that has been highly requested from you guys on Instagram and something that seems to be very popular on YouTube, which is my footwear collection. Now, I have done a couple of collection videos in the past, but I've never done anything on my footwear, so this will be a very unedited, full collection. So, it's gonna be quite a long video, although I'm gonna try to get as swiftly through everything as possible, but get cozy because we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> I don't think I need to do any more explanation than this. You guys know how these video go, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. All of the information about every shoes are gonna be on the screen just so I don't miss anything. I will do some close-up details of everything and I will just talk you through every single pair of shoes I own because you guys wanna see that. <laughs> so let's get into it. I just had to put my hair out the way just because my shoes are in front of me and um, it was annoying. So here I am. I hope you can't hear Dylan, he's having meetings, you know, we're both working from home, so we're managing like we can, but if you can hear him, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to be as loud as I can and kind of bury the sound of his voice in the background. So I'm gonna start with sneakers, just because this is my least favorite category, so let's get it out the way. Why is it my least favorite category? Just because it doesn't really bring anything to an outfit, in my opinion, from my personal style. I much prefer a more dressed up shoe or a more statement shoe. So yeah, I don't really wear sneakers that much. I only own three pairs, so let's get into it. The first one are my Superga platform sneakers. Now these I purchased three times just because they are my most favorite sneakers. They're just very basic, very classic, they go with everything and they don't really have a lot of branding on them which I love. I like a sneaker that it's just plain and looks good with both jeans, dresses, just about everything and yeah, Supriga would definitely repurchase a fourth time. Next up I have my Converse high top Chuck Taylors. These I bought when I was in high school, so 10 years ago now. I've had them forever. I really like that they kind of show signs of wear. Um, they tell a story. They're a very iconic shoe. Um, I would definitely repurchase a pair if these are ever destroyed, although they kind of are looking still good even after 10 years. That kind of shows the quality. I have to say I don't wear them. I don't wear them every day, so that's probably why they lasted so long. They're in really, really good condition. Yeah, these are kind of historical for me, so I really, really love those. Finally, for the sneakers, I have these Margiela huge trainers, which I bought a year ago now. Um, I don't really know what was going through my mind when I was purchasing these. I, I like them, but they're not really, they don't really make sense for me. Um, I, I wore them a lot when I bought them. I wore them for a fashion week. I think they're a really good statement sneaker and I like the way that they look. I just don't really reach out for them a lot now. I don't know if I would repurchase again, but I have started to wear them more with like joggers and tracksuit. Who would have thought I would have worn tracksuits, but here we are, 2021. I'm a changed woman, so for these, they kind of upscale the tracksuit look, which I like. So, yeah, I'm still gonna wear them a lot, but I'm kind of on a fence. Alright, moving on, I'm gonna do loafers and derbies in the same category, because these are the kind of shoes that I own the most, and that I wear the most. So, first, in no particular order, I'm gonna start with these Doc Martens. These are really really nice in my opinion i bought those on depop and i got them for a really good price i cannot find the style of these i don't know what's the name of the model i just know that these are made in england so they might be a little bit older i bought them on the second hand market but they were good as new never worn so 
not the reason why I purchased them. I really, really love those. I think they do the job. They are very basic, minimal derbies. I like that they have a really nice, thick sole. And yeah, they're very practical. I can wear them with pretty much anything. And it's nice that they give a rest to my designer loafers, which I don't want to wear necessarily every day. So I have this kind of as an alternative that does the exact same thing as my Prada loafer, for example. Next up, I have these Prada loafers that oops, you would have seen everywhere on my Instagram and everywhere in Instagram for that matter on everyone. <laughs> they are very popular loafers. Um, they're Prada penny loafers with the gold logo. These were the first one that they did um, about a year ago now. Now the, the logo is silver instead of gold, but they're pretty similar still. I don't have anything bad to say about these, I, except one thing, which I will get to, but I love those, they go with everything, they're my absolute favorite pair of shoes that I want to wear every day with every outfit, couldn't recommend them enough, would definitely purchase again, regular price or not, these are very, very good value for me, just because I wear them all the time. The only downside of these loafers is that they are really extremely uncomfortable. I've had those for a year and I wear them, as you know, a lot and they just don't break in, ever. <laughs> the leather is such good quality and it's so stiff that they really never get comfortable. So bear that in mind, they look really great and I'm not really too fussy about comfort. I go pretty much for the look first. Um, so yeah, I can I can deal with an uncomfortable shoe but these are really really uncomfortable <laughs> I have a really high foot so this part here presses on my feet so much that they go practically numb if that makes any sense I know it sounds crazy but that's really what happens and I have to use a shoehorn every time I want to slip in and out of those well not out in so if you're planning on going somewhere where you need to take your shoes off um, think about it because you most likely won't be able to get back in those if you don't carry your shoehorn with you so bear that in mind for these shoes other than that they're totally worth it <laughs> next up I have another pair of Prada shoes these ones I got on Depop I wasn't really looking for those specifically but I stumbled upon them on the platform and then I just thought they are such a good price and they're really really cute they're a style of shoe that I wear all the time so I thought I would jump on the opportunity it's rare that you find them in your size especially on the secondhand market at such a cheap price I think I paid $200 for those which is really weirdly cheap anyways so I don't reach for them as much just because they are a little bit more narrow and a little bit smaller and at the moment I'm just into the chunky shoe look but I'm sure I'm gonna reach out for them a lot in the future I bought these in a size 35 and they are a little bit small for me I'm usually a 36 so I kind of stretch it with those but I can still fit into them with like thin socks so it's fine um, and like I said, I'm not too fussy about being comfortable in my shoes that much, especially when I wear these kind of shoes. I just expect them to not be that comfortable. So, um, yeah, it works for me, but bear in mind that if you're looking for a Prada shoe that's not really chunky like these, they're quite, the leather is quite stiff, so they can become really uncomfortable. If you have really sensitive feet, maybe those are not for you. <laughs> Next up, I have another pair of Prada derbies. These are really heavy. These are the Prada Creepers. I bought those when I first started to attend fashion weeks and I was really looking for a pair of statement shoes that I could wear, um, particularly with dresses. I like these with dresses. I like the contrast of something very feminine with something that's quite statement like that. I think although they are a really trendy item, there's something that I always want to reach out to with pretty much any outfit, so that's always a good sign. And even if they're not going to be trendy in a couple of years, they've kind of become a classic for me, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I don't regret buying them at all and I would definitely repurchase. I love these. Finally, in this category, I have these flat apartment little flat forms. I got those as a part of a collaboration I did with W Concept. 
and they were gifted to me I really really like those I haven't owned them for nearly long enough to say if they're a good investment or not but yeah I really really like those I think they're super cool design with the like square toe and the flat form very funky but also quite classic so yeah I really really like those um, and yeah if you want to see how I style all of these shoes pretty much all of them except those sneakers because I never shoot those <laughs> for my Instagram but other than that you can go on my Instagram and see more outfit inspiration for everything that I'm showing you but yeah okay let's jump into boots so the first one I'm gonna talk about are these cost Chelsea boots I got these a long time ago but they do them I don't know if they still do them but at the time they would do them every season they're kind of a classic for them I still really like those boots although I haven't reached out for them recently but they're a really classic boot if I had more budget at the time I think I would have invested in the church's Chelsea boot just because they are a little bit more to my likings they have more of a thicker sole which is something that as you know I mentioned I always look for but otherwise these are really really nice the leather is super good quality um, super hard to break in but once they're broken in they're really comfortable and yeah overall I really like these haven't really wore them recently but I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of them in the future moving on I have these platform Doc Martens boots these are Chelsea as well. I don't think I'm going to wear them in anytime soon. I've owned them for a year now and they're still in really, really good shape, good condition. The only thing I, was, I would say is that this is really tight when you originally buy them. So they kind of hurt around the ankle or maybe it's just the shape of my legs, but bear that in mind. Other than that, they look really cool. I don't really reach for those as much. Um, other than when I just want to get out the house and slip on some shoes and when I wear a big puffer, a beanie hat, some leggings and these, I think that's how I wear them the most. But yeah, they're a good shoe to have in your closet. Very practical. Next up, you're going to notice a pattern, which is tall black boots. This is ridiculous. I have a problem <laughs> the thing is when I this is ridiculous but when I like a style of shoe I or style of anything when I like something I like to own it in multiple different variation shapes colors I'm not the only one guys <laughs> not justifying myself but you know um I'm gonna start with these I got these egg uh, rubber boots at value village which whoops no See, they're so similar that I mix them up. Here we go, here's a good pair. Um, I got these at Value Village, I got them for $15 and these retail for a lot more, it's gonna be on the screen. I love those, they are very clean, minimalistic, they are very slimming on the leg um, and they are leather inside, which is really, really good quality. I got them secondhand, but they were, they were good as new. And they're just my kind of walk in the park boots. I have a lot of those, although I don't walk in the park that often, but if I do, this is what I wear. Moving on, very, very similar to my egg boots that I just showed you are these Burberry rubber boots. I also got them secondhand. Um, I paid a lot more for those. I paid, I think $200 or something. They have the classic plaid on the inside and yeah I don't think I need both but since I paid so little for that one I think it's nice to have one that's very minimalistic and one that's a little bit more true riding boots so I like both I can't really decide moving on I have another pair of riding boots but these are true riding boots like I really really like those my only thing is that they are extra tall and I'm extra short <laughs> so whenever I go down the stairs or whenever I need to bend my legs this part really digs into where my legs bent bend so 
it's a little bit hard to go down the stairs but if i'm walking it's fine and if i'm standing it's fine and they look amazing they are really elongating they make my legs look really slim and tall which i really love and you know they kind of remind me of the hermes classic riding boots and they look super high quality they're all leather inside and yeah it's just a good second hand find whenever you see something that's that good it's hard not to buy it <laughs> but i wore them a lot and i shot them a lot too so yeah pretty good investment i think the last one in this kind of same category of taller black boots are my frankie shop luxol boots i bought those because i saw them on someone on instagram I also get influenced by influencers <laughs> and I saw them, I thought they looked great on her and I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to invest in those and although these were a really great purchase and I wore them a lot and I still wear them a lot, there's something about the leather on these that I don't like as much as my other ones. It seems it's a much softer leather which makes them really comfortable and some people might like it a lot. For me, they're just a little bit too wrinkly, if that makes sense. It's weird. Like these are wrinkly too, but it's like a stiff wrinkle as opposed to these is more like a soft wrinkle. I mean, I still wear them a lot. They are really, really comfortable and I like that they have like a thicker sole. But yeah, overall pretty good. I don't know if I would buy again. Next up, we have a pair of shoes that I absolutely adore. These are my... very overexposed right now, but... These are my Celine rubber boots. I talked about these in my 2020 best purchase video and yeah. What can I say about these? They're just my dream boots. They are so cute, so fun. Um, and like I said, I like a shoe that sometimes really clashes with my style and these definitely do it. They're very minimalistic and very futuristic. And I think, yeah, they're just really fun and they make me happy. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't looking for the black version of these. I just like them so much that I will probably buy a black version whenever I can find them on the secondhand market. Um, it was super hard to find these in my size. It took a couple months and then it's going to take probably as long to find the black one in a size 36. But I am on the hunt and I will not give up. But yeah, those rubber boots are really a good investment overall. Okay, to finish off the boots category, I'm gonna go with my two favorite pair of boots, which are my white and black tabbies. So these white ones are in the flat version here. This is kind of overexposed. If I put them here, it's fine. Um, yeah, I just love those. They're just such a good investment and I'm gonna want to keep them in my wardrobe forever. I just like these. They would actually look really good with what I'm wearing today. I also have a pair of black tabbies, which are kind of surprising for me. <laughs> Not necessarily my style, but sometimes I like that in a shoe. Um, I like a shoe to kind of clash my outfit, to give it some edge, and these definitely do this. These make my legs look so long just because of the platform and the heel height. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful and they have this like shiny toe detail. I know tabbies aren't for everyone, but if you are a fashion fanatic or if you work in the fashion industry, you'll just know that you need to own a pair of tabby boots. Well, you don't need to, but you will be tempted to own a pair of tabby boots at one point or another, I'm sure. Anyways, love these, will not get rid of those, will not sell forever. Okay, moving on to sandals. Now, I only have three pairs of sandals just because I don't really wear sandals that much. As I mentioned, I like more of a chunky shoe and I find that it's hard to find good chunky sandals. So I have three that I have on rotation during the summer that I wear a lot and I'm kind of good with those three styles. So 
First up are these Prada sandals. I got these second hand but good as new. They were not worn and they still have the sticker underneath. That's how much I wear sandals. But I like to have like a classic pair like this that I can reach out to um, to wear pretty much with anything. Dresses, jeans, shorts. And they are from the same collection as my derbies that I showed earlier. And yeah, I just like that they look really chic but they're not too dressy at the same time just because this makes it a little bit more casual and the platform as well so yeah really good investment moving on very very similar pair from stella mccartney these are vegan leather sandals i also really like those these are the sandals that i wear the most just because they are the most comfortable they are super light because they have like a foam sole and yeah they're just really comfortable they look really cool i love the double buckle i like that they look like a shoe but they're a sandal if that makes sense and the only thing is that they are vegan leather so they don't breathe as much yeah that's kind of the downside of it but that's okay because they do the job in terms of look <laughs> so for me it's fine next up i have a pair of lma slides I really like those. They kindly gifted them to me and they just look really nice. They're easy to slip on. The leather here is super soft and yeah, they're just my go-to flat sandals for... Well, the other ones are flat too, but they have more of a platform. This one is a little bit more thin and yeah, they're just easy. Whenever I need to get out the house in the summer, this is what I wear. I like to be able to style my shoes with any type of outfit if possible. So that's it guys, I'm done. I went through everything. I hope this was interesting for you guys to see. I'm sorry if I looked in the viewfinder that much. I just didn't want things to be underexposed, overexposed. I'm dealing with natural light. So thanks for um, watching until the end if you did. And hopefully that was interesting for you. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions about brands or a specific type of shoe I talked about. I will answer in the comments and I will try to link everything I can. Although most of my shoes are quite old, but yeah, I'll try to find them for you guys. So if you saw anything you like, just head down to the description box and everything will be hopefully linked down below. So thanks so much for watching. This is kind of matchy matchy.